Howdy, my name is Moses and these are my favorite skate parks in Indiana. Let me grab my good old notebook. I'm going to be ranking these skate parks from least favorite to favorite. Starting at number 8 on the list is Green Castle Skate Park. It's... Well, let me just say there's not much going on. It's, it's got some bowls, but the concrete is just so rough. There's never anybody there to sesh with and it's just... The few times I've been, it just wasn't that good of a time. Number seven on the list is the Q Skate Park. Now, there's nothing inherently wrong with this park, it's just not necessarily my favorite. It's actually a really cool park. It has its very own skate shop built into the skate park, and you can even buy, like, pizza and water and stuff. But there is a small downside, and you have to actually pay to get into the park, and you have to sign a waiver, and it's not that big of a park. It's, it's only got two small rooms, and it's an indoor park. Number six on the list is Jolie Kreider Memorial in Columbus, Indiana. Now this is actually an amazing park, but the only reason I put it at the bottom of the list is because I've only ever been there one time. But this park is amazing in the way it's built. It ha it's kind of built like Aztec plateaus, and there's three different levels to it. At the bottom level, it has mostly flat ground with some like ledges and rails. In the middle area, it's just full of different street spots and little banks and, and ledges and things. And then at the top level, it's this big bowl. So it's pretty much got like flat ground, street, and then transition into three different plateaus, which I think is a really incredible idea. And it just flows between the three really well as well. Really well as well. Number five on the list is Major Taylor Skate Park. Now this is a classic Indiana skate park that a lot of people will probably recognize. It's well known for its just beautiful looks and history in general. It has these beautiful blue murals on all of the transition. And recently, last year, they actually added orange accents to all the banks and things, and it just looks stellar. The reason I don't put this park any higher on the list is because it's kind of an old park, and a lot of the transition is pretty rough. And the way the pitch is built, it's kind of actually built for bikes rather than skateboards. But, you know, it's still an amazing park. Number four on the list is one of my personal favorites, and it's The Warehouse. This is an indoor skate park in Bloomington, Indiana, and it's just... It's just the place to go when you're trying to have a chill sesh with the homies. The video playing in the background is actually from the warehouse. It's basically this huge flat ground area inside of a warehouse with, with ledges, rails, mini ramps, banks, anything you would want. Anything you would want in a, in a place. And not only is the warehouse a skate park, but it also has things like trampolines, pool ball tables, boxing. It's just fully loaded of all kinds of things to have a good time. It's really for everybody. Now number three on the list actually holds a really dear spot in my heart and it's Upper Cascade Skate Park in Bloomington, Indiana. The reason I hold this park so dear to my heart is because it's actually one of the first skate parks that I ever skated with my older brother Levi who introduced me to skateboarding. Now this skate park's a little bit older so the concrete is rough but it's still just an amazing park full of transition. Now the rails of this park are just a little bit extreme but that's not a big thing to me because I don't really hit him anyways. Upper Cascade is a really well-known park because of its history in Bloomington. It was one of the first parks built there, and it still holds a strong place in the skating community in Bloomington, Indiana. Number two on the list is actually a really new park. I was actually there for the grand opening, and this is Victory Skate Park in Nashville, Indiana. Now this skate park is a really small park, but honestly, for how small it is, it utilizes its space really well. It has a really nice mix of transition skating as well as park skating. It has rails, banks, ledges, and a really nice boulder cart as well. The centerpiece of Nashville, Indiana Skate Park is its beautiful oak leaf centerpiece. It's, it's just beautiful. Like, look at it. That's beautiful. What other park is something like that? Nashville Park. Number one on this list is going to have to be the Switchyard Skate Park in Bloomington, Indiana. This park just opened up last November, and it's astounding. It's, it has the flow of Nashville Park, but it's twice the size. And it honestly has a beautiful look to it. It has these amazing red accents on all of the coping and ledges that just makes it really pop and stand out. Sadly, I haven't really had the chance to skate this park as much as I would like to because I actually moved from Indiana shortly after its opening, but still, it's just an amazing park. The flow is unbeatable. Let me know what your favorite skate parks are down in the comments below and I'll check them out. And if you guys have any ideas for future video topics, let me know. I'll definitely check them out and I'll see if I can do them. I guess that's all. Peace!